I had a couple ideas. I want to do this jungle idea, Punjabi party idea, ice cream fun day idea. The first call I made was to my main man Zulu, my man with the plan, and create an ice cream fun day. Just using that concept, ice cream fun day, we ended up creating the world around that. It was just one of those things that it made sense. You know, the club is a beautiful place. It's very customizable. End of the summer, ice cream bash, you know. Once Apollo put his name on it, I knew it was gonna be a success. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Apollo Jackson, your host for the evening. Welcome to the making of an ice cream fun day. Appreciate you. The date was uh, July 4th, 2021. And uh, I got a, an inquiry from Apollo Jackson about a, an ice cream party. We debated it, we thought about it, and we're like, you know what, let's do it. I was super excited, super happy for the challenge that we're going through, people that we're going to meet. The idea of the project was phenomenal. It was just so cool. We had these like sprinkled lips and accessories. Everything was just on point, and it was so much fun. How can I create this ice cream world that people can see in the commercial and then want to come to and then when they get there they actually feel like they're in an ice cream world and the light went off. I wanted to attack the visuals, the smell, the texture, those senses rather than the taste because that was the hard part and I really, really enjoyed the challenge. We got into the lab, put our heads together and we started looking at visuals, different videos, comic books, commercials, anything that gives us inspiration. I knew we wanted colorful wigs, we wanted pinks, purples, greens, yellows, oranges, just like the sprinkles on ice cream. So I called my homegirl Savannah how I got involved into the whole Ice Cream Fun Day project was two different ways. One, being a model for the project and also being a booker to bring other talent on to bring an awesome experience to people. Zulu's working on how can we create the world. Savannah has so many great different personalities lined up so we could interview them. We wanted all type of ethnicities. Asian, Latina, Jamaican, African American, Caucasian, whatever you got, I want it. What's really important to Apollo, for us to know the people that is gonna be with us. The right team, the right chemistry. I will not cast anyone unless I speak to them. Something that I noticed, everything was together and a whole concept. Everything was written down, everything was ready, set. Before we walked in here, we knew what we are gonna do, how we are gonna do it, with who, where every little thing was gonna go. You know, I think the biggest thing to sum up Apollo is he pays attention to details and he's really meticulous about it. With the help of my lovely wife, uh, Bianca, with the help of Savannah and their expertise on sizes for the females. It was craziness because we had, what, five, ten, how many models was it? Ten models and the majority of them were girls, so you know how girls are, you know, you gotta make sure everything's perfect. But then we had these really cool latex, form-fitting, colorful dresses, which was really fun. And then we got a little more sexier, and we had these bikinis with this like little waiter type vibe, so it looks like those 50s restaurants with the ice cream cones and all of that. When I started to see the artist's makeup with this sparkle on the lips, the clothes that the girls was using was amazing. You could tell that they feel part of the project. They feel like they could be inside a whole atmosphere of ice cream party. They have the, the concept already planned for it, for each of them. So they, they show me the clothing and I only have to decide what to do with the hair and with the makeup. So I got really creative and I put all these colors in the eye. Zulu the magician broke it all down and hooked it up so we could break down the scenes and get everything in a 10 hour shoot. So we have the entrance with our main character walking downstairs, passing these like magical figures. And then once she enters the venue into Blue Midtown, boom, you're in the ice cream world. And now everyone's an ice cream character. 
And one in particular, there was this roller skater, and she could do all these really cool tricks. She would do handstands with her skates in the air, all these spins, flips. What's an ice cream party without an ice cream waitress roller skater? Like, come on, man. And there's actually this bicycle that you could get like a workout in, but also like it mixes ice cream at the same time. I wanted the ice cream characters to be ice cream and not people. Does that make sense? <laughs> I wanted these girls to be cold, man. And Savannah was great with this. You know, she just started being a robot and moving and it looked good. And the other girls started following and the ice cream characters came to life. Anyone who knows me knows I like a good quality cigar here or there, you know? So I got, I got my stogie ready. And then the manager says, wait, we can't shoot the scene right now. I'm like, hold up, hold up. We need this scene right here. If we don't get this scene, there's no commercial. He's like, the fire department still didn't cut off the alarm. We need to cut off the alarm so we could pull the scene off. We have so much smoke going on. We got the cigar, have literally like dozens and dozens of sparklers going on at once. And we have to retake it a couple of times. So I'm trying to keep everyone cool, trying to talk with everyone while we're waiting. We're talking about like 20, 30 minutes here. Everyone's leaving like in 30 minutes. How are we gonna get this scene and still do the VIP scene? <sighs> so I'm about to make the call. In the middle of the pressure of the situation, he was really calm, like trying to make everybody at the same level. At one point he came to express gratitude. Yo, we, we might have to cut out the the cigar scene. The general manager, he comes downstairs and says we're good to go. Oh my gosh! I almost had a heart attack. So we just have enough time to get this scene and hit the VIP scene so we could stick this all together, glue it, package it up, and ship it out online. I jump in the chair, I light it up, we go straight into it. Man, this is one of the most smoothest scenes I've ever been a part of. And they killed it with the concepts, the ideas, with the directions of putting things together. And the shoot went so smooth compared to other shoots. Everyone's like, where do we go? What do we do? And we had extras that we had to call in. So we create the VIP scene. Now it gets crazy. We got bottles coming in, sparklers. The extras are going crazy in VIP. We have the production team, they're popping confetti poppers. Boom! And that's just the commercial. I think the coolest part of the night was, you know, we had like 10 models coming in and they were all just like beautiful, dressed up, you know, guys and girls. And every time we sold a bottle, you know, they were coming out with whipped cream. They were, you know, popping bottles, sparklers, you know, that swag on the table. I think the, the whole thing, you know, paying attention to the little details and really getting that right and creating that atmosphere for an ice cream party was really what made it special and different. It was very, very unique. It was great energy. I had fun. That was a really nice event. <laughs> Teamwork really does make the dream work. I mean, I think from the operational standpoint to executing it, the party was a hit. You know, Apollo is a great guy to deal with, you know, very smooth. Um, you know, the details is, was a big thing. And, you know, I think between the, him having an idea and, and you know, Creating that idea and executing that idea is what really made it special. And I think everyone that came in here felt like it was still summer, even though we were in September. And you know, a huge shout out to Apollo and his crew 
Zulu was awesome, you know, the cameraman was great. And then shout out to, you know, Blue Midtown. I mean, we're here for a long time and a good time. And, you know, come visit us, 220 West 44th Street. And uh, let's party together. This was a great uh, event. And I feel like I want to I wanna come to more. I want to do more. Yeah, absolutely. People are going to talk about us for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, New York City. I'm Apollo Jackson and I sell memories. Control.